Ethiopia is a country of several extremely wealthy citizens who are internationally recognized for their wealth, as well as businesses and large corporations that generate millions of dollars in revenue. Even though Ethiopia is classified as a developing country, some rich people live and enjoy life in the same way that Westerners do. Ethiopia, as one of the world's fastest growing economies, is on its way to becoming an important global trade hub. Ethiopian men and women from various backgrounds, ethnicities and religious have spearheaded the country's phenomenal growth. Ethiopians are known for their hard work and dedication to their chosen fields. They have so much money because of political connections and a stable business that takes supplies from the country and sends them to other places. Most people's paths to becoming one of Ethiopia's wealthiest people were not easy and also they succeeded thanks to an unwavering desire to succeed. Welcome to Think Rich Africa, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business and personal development contents to inform, motivate and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship rather than global pity is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you are not subscribed to our channel or community, you're missing out. 10. Belene Kindi Belaine Kindi has amassed a fortune through his Belaine Kindi BK Business Group, an Ethiopian company that began by exporting oil seeds, nuts, and other products. BKIE quickly began to expand into various other sectors after focusing its efforts on employee development, good management, and strict credit controls. Since its inception in 2005, the company has grown to become one of the country's largest sesame seed exporters, as well as a leading Ethiopian agricultural commodities trader. Belene entered the transportation business in 2006 when he established the BKPT or Belene Kindi Private Transport with 640 ton carrying trucks. This company now owns over 100. In 2008, Gerelta Business PLC was formed to strengthen and expand Belene's import and export businesses. Belene's assets skyrocketed in 2009 when he paid 134 million Ethiopian B or $5 million for the famous Ethiopian hotel Addis Ababa and the popular Ras Hotel. Belaine, who is almost always looking to expand, would spend another 600 million Ethiopian B to acquire a 40,000 square mile plot of land in Bahi Dar on which to build a five star resort and hotel. Number 9. Abe Cheshai. He is an Ethiopian politician from the ruling party. He has enough clout within the party because he is a veteran. That is one of the reasons he has made so many connections and contributed to much of the country's economy. He has also invested in various business sectors, which has made it easier for him to profit. The company's shares have increased her current estimated worth to around $1.5 billion. He wields enormous power in the country. 8. Samuel Tafisi Samuel Tafisi is a well-known businessman in Ethiopia, Sunshine Investment Group, a construction and a real estate development company that develops residential, leisure and commercial properties in Ethiopia and the Middle East, which was founded by the 63-year-old real estate mogul. Sunshine Investment Group has built 3,254 apartments and 427 villas in Ethiopia since its inception in 1983. This includes Addis Ababa's historic Marriott Executive Apartments. Sunshine has also built 1,129.78 kilometers of roads projects as the government's primary highway contractor. The company employs over 3,000 people. Its accomplishments over the last 34 years have enabled it to establish a dependable capacity and demonstrate practical excellence in the construction sector. 7. Seyon Mesfin he is currently serving as Ethiopia's ambassador to China. He previously served as foreign affairs minister, where he wielded considerable power over trade. He has served as the chairman of Ethiopian Airlines. His influence in the Ethiopian cabinet and the airlines enabled him to smuggle a large number of drugs throughout Africa and Asia. He is Africa's richest drug lord, with a long criminal history of dealing illegal drugs. He has made a lot of money in this business in recent years, and his current net worth is estimated to be $1.8 billion. Number 6. Sebat Negar 
Within the ranks of the Tigray People's Liberation Front, Sebat Nega is regarded as a magnet. It is well known that he established a business empire in Ethiopia worth multiple billions of dollars during the 27 years that the group was in power there. Nega was in charge of the TPLF business empire, which was a subsidiary of the Endowment Fund for the Rehabilitation of Tigray Conglomerate. As a result of this involvement in various political organizations and his business dealings conducted through TPLF, he has amassed a fortune that is well into the hundreds of millions of dollars. Nega was widely regarded as one of the most influential men in all of Ethiopia. At one point in time, he was thought to even have more power than the former Prime Minister Meles Zenawi, who has since passed away. Number 5. Behane Gebrekistos He was one of the people who were most intimate with the dictator Meles and his wife Azeb Mesfin. He is a trusted apprentice of the dictator and even now he is a partner of Azeb Mesfin in various businesses. Azeb Mesfin is one of his partners. He was involved in the dictator's diplomatic efforts which were a front for the laundering of illicit funds. Before the current government was established, the dictator assisted the newly established regime in their efforts to steal money from the populace under the guise of collecting taxes. The dictator himself had previously stolen a large sum of money from the populace under the same pretext. His wealth is currently estimated to be at the range of $2 billion. Earlier in his career, he served on the Politburo TPLF and maintained a close relationship with the dictator. In addition to that, he was a member of the committee that oversaw the Endowment Fund for Relief of Tigray. Despite his closeness to Melis, he was eventually expelled from both organizations. It is currently estimated that he has a net worth of approximately $2 billion. But in the past, his actual worth was significantly higher than this. He is still considered to be one of the most influential people in all of Ethiopia at present. 4. Ayob Joy Mamo Ayob Joy Mamo is an Ethiopian oil tycoon who is known for running and controlling half of the gas stations in Washington, District of Columbia, through Capital Petroleum Group, a leading wholesale distributor of petroleum services in the metropolitan Washington, District of Columbia area, as well as New York City. Ayob Mamo immigrated to the United States when he was still a young boy. In 1991, Ayob was sent to a boarding school in Dakota by his father, who was the owner of Mamo Kacha, a bus transportation company in Addis Ababa. His father did this to protect him from the Dirk community and government, which was in power at the time. Today, Ayob, also known as Joe, is the owner and operator of the privately owned Capital Petroleum Group, which has control of over more than 41% of the gas stations in Washington, District of Columbia. The enterprising Ayo purchases his gasoline from refiners and then resells it to the proprietors of the gas stations that he owns and operates. As a result of Capital Petroleum Group's valuation of $800 million in 2011, he is considered to be one of the wealthiest businessmen in Ethiopia and is estimated to have a net worth of $2.5 billion. An offer to purchase a minority stake in DC United has been submitted by the Ethiopian magnate and real estate developer. With this 6% stake, he would become the most recent of a slew of new minority partners that the United States soccer franchise has added over the past few years. Three, Meles Zenawi. Born on May 9, 1955, Meles Zenawi was an Ethiopian politician and businessman. He passed away on August 20, 2012, at the age of 57 years old. Celebrity net worth estimates that he had a net worth of $3 billion at the time of his death. Meles Zenawi served as the Prime Minister of Ethiopia in the past. In the 90s, Zenawi served as President of Ethiopia, which he did not do until he became Prime Minister of his home country. During the decade of the 1980s, he also served as the head of the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front and as the chairman of the Degrian People's Liberation Front. Zenawi was hailed as one of Africa's strongmen after becoming Prime Minister of Ethiopia in 1995 and serving in the capacity until his death in August 2012. Number 2. Azeb Mesfin She is the widow of Meles, the former dictator who passed away. In addition to running her own company, she is an investor in several Ethiopian businesses. The people of Ethiopia have given her the name Mother of Corruption, which contributes to her reputation as a criminal among the population of that country. She is a stakeholder in the largest companies and industries, and as a result, it is estimated that she has a net worth of approximately $4 billion. This value takes into account both the wealth she accumulated as a dictator and the benefits she received from the companies in which she has a stake. Number 1. Mohamed Al-Amudi 
Ala Modi was born in Ethiopia in 1946 to a Hadrami father and an Ethiopian mother. Forbes estimated his net worth to be around $10.9 billion in 2016, with a relative drop in net worth linked to the global drop in oil and gold prices at the time of estimation. He was also named Ethiopia's richest man, the world's second richest Saudi Arabian citizen, and the world's second richest person of African descent. Before buying oil refineries in Sweden and Morocco, Ala Modi made his fortune in construction and real estate. He is Ethiopia's largest individual foreign investor and a significant investor in Sweden. Ala Modi owns a diverse range of businesses, including those in construction, energy, agriculture, mining, hotels, healthcare, and manufacturing. His operations are primarily concentrated within two conglomerate holding and operating companies, Coral Petroleum Holdings and Midrock, which he owns and manages. Through these businesses, he employs over 70,000 people. He is one of Africa's wealthiest individuals, ranking alongside Aleko Dangote and others. Ala Moody's net worth is estimated to be around $8.3 billion by Celebrity Net Worth and $6.31 billion by Bloomberg. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so as not to miss out on any of our next videos. Don't forget to share with family and friends.